What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today I'm going to show you guys my Gogoroth challenge mode loot from this week on all three of my characters. So this week's challenge was the Gogoroth challenge and it was definitely a lot more challenging than the Warpriest challenge. However, there was a way that people figured out in order to make it a lot easier or I guess cheese it if you want to call it that. And so the requirement for this challenge was to have everyone hold Gogoroth's gaze during each damage cycle. So I'm guessing Bungie's intention for this was to have everyone hold the gaze at least once before you failure to capture his gaze, which means that they wanted everyone to utilize all six of the orbs in the pit for that boss fight. And what a lot of people figured out was that all you needed to do was have everyone hold his gaze and you can still utilize the easy one orb strategy so that's pretty much what a lot of people did just use the one orb strat like everyone has been in the past before this challenge came out and then just pass the gaze around after that to make sure the challenge is met so that's what was going on with the challenge this week maybe they might patch it or change it a little bit later so that we end up having to do it the way they intended us to do this challenge but anyway, the loot for this week was really good. Once again, we got some 320 armor pieces this time around, and it was really rewarding. Everyone's progressing slowly with these challenge mode rewards because they're guaranteed 320 drops or max level drops, and it's all really good. So we're slowly creeping our way towards that light level 320. So here's what I got for this week, and let's get straight into it. Starting off on my first character on my hunter, we were able to get ourselves two Moldering Shards from Gogoroth. From the challenge, we got the Devourer of Light Emblem and the 49th Calcified Fragment. And then we got, of course, the 320 Artifact. I got Fist of the Eight Moons again. And we got the 310 Artifact as well. And for my armor piece, we got some 320 Harrow Dark Hollow Grasps, which is pretty good. Came in at Intellect and Discipline as well as well as the 310 Dark Hollow Grasp as well. So pretty good stuff. I got some 320 gauntlets out of it, so that was really good. Moving on to my next character on my Titan. From the actual Golgoroth kill, we got two Moldering Shards, the chest piece from Normal Mode, and some Hard Mode Boots. From the Challenge Mode chest, we got the 320 Artifact, 310 Artifact. I got some 310 gauntlets. And I got 320 boots, so that was really good. I got 320 Harrowed War Newman's boots, which is pretty cool. It did come with intellect and strength, which is not that good, but still, at least I got some 320 boots out of it, as well as another 320 artifact. So that was really good stuff. And of course, we got the usual emblem and calcified fragment. Finally, on my last Golgoroth kill on my Warlock, we got just two Moldering Shards once again from the actual kill. But from challenge mode, we got another 320 artifact, which looks like a leaf. We got another 310 artifact. I got some 310 boots, and I got a 320 chest piece. So that was pretty cool. I got the 320 Harrow Chasm of Yule, and it came with intellect discipline as well. Really good stuff on it. So I was pretty happy about that. I actually got a different 320 piece on each of my characters. I ended up getting 320 boots on my Titan. 320 chest piece on my warlock and 320 gauntlets for my hunter so pretty cool stuff across the board still getting closer to 320 light and next week's gonna be oryx challenge mode where we can get some 320 primaries or helmets i'm guessing so that's gonna be really good stuff and also in bungie's latest weekly update they announced that some big expansions or dlc or some sort of content is coming in the near future so we can expect to see that at the beginning of next year going into the spring of next year when they are gonna have a bigger uh, piece of content for us to do so that's gonna be pretty exciting to find out more about in the future and I'm really excited for all of that so that's about it for this video thank you guys for watching as always like comment subscribe stay tuned for more videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one peace